Winter is not a glamorous season. It can be cold and rainy and sometimes icy. The sky is gray, trees without their leaves look pathetic. Except for the holidays, there's really not much to get excited about. Most people feel a little ugh. Some people feel worse. You might say they feel SAD disorder, which has the oh-so-clever acronym SAD, is a diagnosable mental illness. You can find it in the Bible of Mental Health, the DSM-5. Or you could until they changed the name to the much less catchy Depressive Disorder with Seasonal Pattern. How do you even pronounce that? Dzp. Dzp. Same disorder though, so I'm sticking to the old name, out of respect for good acronyms. SAD is a version of depression, and many of the symptoms are the same. Feeling sad, having low energy, changes in appetite, and other symptoms. What makes seasonal affective disorder different from depression is, well, it's seasonal. SAD only affects people during certain seasons, and it can recur year to year. Most people with SAD begin to feel its effects in late fall and winter, but some people have it during the spring and summer instead. About 5% of Americans experience SAD each year. That ranges from 1.4% in Florida to 9.9% in Alaska. Latitude makes a big difference. SAD's causes are complex and not well understood. Research suggests it's related to the changing patterns of light that come with the seasons. As we write this in Reaction's headquarters in Washington, D.C., it's 5.30 p.m. in early December, and it's dark as night outside. That can affect the body's circadian rhythm, and that can mess with your mood. Your circadian rhythm is controlled by a region deep in your brain, called the SCN for short. The SCN takes cues from your eyes about whether it's dark or light out, and sends that information onto the pineal gland. The pineal gland makes the hormone melatonin only when it's dark out, and melatonin helps humans go to sleep. Quick fun fact. Melatonin has the opposite effect in animals, depending on if they sleep during the day or at night. Nocturnal animals' brains secrete melatonin at night, just like ours, but instead of making them sleepy, it gets them amped up to go knock over trash cans and other nighttime stuff. So when winter comes around and the days get shorter, your brain can get mixed up and your circadian rhythm, and your mood, can get out of whack. Another hormone at play in SAD is serotonin. Most of your serotonin is weirdly in your intestines, where it helps move digesting food along. But some is in your brain, where it keeps you feeling good. Lots of mental disorders are linked to problems with serotonin levels. Serotonin levels are naturally lower in the winter when there's less light. So by now it's probably clear that light plays a big role here. That's why one of the most common treatments for SAD is to sit under a bright light. Seriously. Doctors recommend getting a bright white light and sitting a couple feet away from it for a half an hour in the morning. You don't even have to look at it. Just hang out next to it, share stories with it, have breakfast with it. It'll make you feel better. Medicines are another option. SSRIs are a class of drugs that may keep more serotonin in your synapses. In randomized controlled trials, SSRIs do better than placebos at treating SAD. Psychotherapy is a third treatment option that can be effective. But doctors say none of these are a sure bet, and sometimes these treatments work better in combination than alone. What works varies from patient to patient, and some need a combination of one or more treatments. Definitely talk to a doctor if you think you've got more than just the occasional winter blues. Sometimes all that chemistry happening inside of us needs to be readjusted, even if all it takes is a little more light.